Back to Bring Me The Horizon, uh, this is In The Dark, this is Sammy's uh, Rock Empire series. For those of you who are saying, oh, you're only doing Sonya and Sammy's ones. The reason I'm doing that is because they had the most, so I'm trying to get their ones out the way. And then I'm going to go to the ones that have um, a, a lot smaller playlists, which is uh, Michael's, Vicky's, Hazes, right? Because once I get these ones out of the way, I'll be able to get to yours and get through yours really quickly right because it's not that many so i'm just trying to get the bulk out of the way sammy's going to be out of the way this week which is going to be great um and then we're pretty much uh, getting there with sonia's as well and then i'm moving on once sammy's is out the way i'm replacing sammy with michael and then once michael's out the way i'm replacing that with vicky uh, so um bear with me everything will be wrapped up in august so don't stress all of it will be wrapped up in august so uh not august uh in july oh my god you guys are gonna freak out no it's gonna be wrapped up by the first of august uh, it'll be wrapped up in july bring me the horizon in the dark man the one with aurora was a very very cool track let's see what we got over here let's go oh shit what, what's, uh, what's that actor's name man what's his name what's his name It's crazy, like, I, I like the fact they're saying I'm looking on the bright side now, but a lot of their music is dark. Bring Me The Horizon's got a lot of dark, uh, dark stuff, and their more recent stuff has been darker, because I remember sort of like a little bit a while ago, like Throne. Throne's a very powerful track, do you know what I mean? Very uplifting kind of track, and then in the past couple of months and years, I kind of feel like, I'd say probably like two years, three years, um, they've had a lot of dark tracks essentially there's obviously an appeal to those um, that don't make no mistake i really like them all right i like looking into like an artist's world where sort of like where they're exposing their demons their lives and things like that i feel like that's the most real art you can make all right but uh, i have noticed this pattern of real dark music but uh, this seems like it's going to have a nice little light turn to it now trying to figure out somehow it's looking like a right off now i think we need to talk right now so don't swear to god he never asked you it's not his heart you draw a knife through it's not his world you turned inside out not his tears still rolling down jesus christ you're so damn cold don't you know you've lost control forget about the things you think i know this sounds a little bit more commercially right it sounds like a track that you would hear on the radio is this for a movie of some sort because i see there's actors over here that i know right he's a really good actor i can't remember which movies he was in but he's a damn good actor as well and i think that girl that i saw earlier on as well um she looked more like a pulp fiction type action but she, she's not she's not I, I know she's not she just looks like that um i think it was just the black suit but anyway um this is a lot sort of like chill toned down this definitely i feel would probably get more radio play um even than the aurora song if i'm if i'm being honest anyway carry on. <laughs> Look at you go, brought a T-62 to a rodeo hey. So tall, it broke the fourth wall Guess my fairy tale has a few plot holes oh. But I'm looking on the bright side now Trying to figure out somehow Love the idea of the video where the girl's actually holding up the, her drawing, right? So it's obviously uh, uh, probably uh, his daughter or whatever else, right? And you're very protective over her. You don't want anyone to harm your children, obviously, right? But when you're in that mental state, you feel like the superhero is kind of down and can't even protect the very uh, um, um, person that they love most dearly, right? But the idea that she was holding up a picture that she herself had drawn, and it was quite obscure is kind of like became 
she created the row shark test because it's she, your daughter your child um is kind of even even your child is kind of psychologically testing you right if that makes any sense so i think that's quite clever i'm not sure if that's intentional or not but uh, I think it's quite smart. Somehow, you can give the act up now. Go ahead and take a bow. Dare I say this hook has got a bit of like an Ed Sheeran feel to it, doesn't it? Come on, bro. Let's let's just go back. It's got a bit of like an Ed Sheeran feel to this. Come on. Don't swear to God, he never asked you. It's not his heart you drove a knife through. Hey. It's not his world you turned inside out. Not his tears still rolling down. Jesus Christ, you're so damn cold. Don't you know you've lost control? Forget about the things you think I know. the song goes on the better it is man this thing bops like a motherfucker bro i like this song a lot i'm adding this to my playlist Fo cho no secrets you can keep me You can't keep me test room six and all that kind of thing so it's like all of the beautiful thing that over there is quite cool where so you've plugged into the system plugged into a machine of sorts right and you just being fed the information that they need you to be fed right and everything that's beautiful which is the tree this natural growing uh, um, 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 uh, beautiful thing um, is kind of like it wasn't appreciated until we all fucking burnt it and now we appreciate it when there's very limited uh, um, amounts of of it essentially is but basically what he is uh, um, trying to portray over here and even that eventually we will burn to try and sort of get a um uh, for, uh, for profit or whatever else right and then you, you you'll get kind of like an emotional response to that but not really because you're actually plugged into a machine that has been told that you know this is the way things should be in the system um we can't get out of that system basically that being social media that is the um and the political order as we see it now the mainstream media how all of that's controlled this orwellian world that we're um, diving deeper and deeper and deeper into um to the point that we're all just the fucking pawns and not even realizing even though we are not physically plugged into something although they're trying <laughs> Neuralink <laughs> and a whole bunch of other shit right not that those things not that Neuralink doesn't have uh, um, um, good applications of course everything starts out with good intentions but eventually 
uh, something that has that level of power will land up in nefarious spaces to try and control people. And that's what's so terrifying about that. And uh, you can see the same thing with social media and you see the same thing with the technology we have. This was a good thing. This was a key to communication. This was a key to connecting the world. But it very quickly became a tool to control the masses and to uh, um, indoctrinate the masses and to gaslight the masses and things like that. So those kind of things in the wrong hands uh, creates a very dark society. And I think this is kind of where the song is going, right? And only appreciating all of that beauty after the fact, right? After you've lost everything because you've played into your ideologies and all that kind of crap. And then you help you help them consume you and so in, in, in turn you're consuming yourself and then only realizing then that you were actually played by a system and now you have nothing and have no power either right and everything that is beautiful has literally is either owned by um a few very powerful men or has been completely depleted and destroyed carry on <laughs> authenticity man that realness right and unfortunately that is being sold off to the highest bidder and you don't even realize that you're selling it off to the highest bidder right because we have been um deluded into thinking that the superficial world is more important right what you make how what you earn what you have what car you drive the house you have we're always chasing these superficial everything that, I mean, I remember even when I, when I was uh, younger and you'd go to a club and then you'd just chat with the girl. You'd take a walk to the gas station. You guys call it a gas station. We call it a petrol station. And you would just have a pie sitting on a pavement and you would just talk and that was fine. Today, you do that and a girl will call you a brokey, a no good, you're nothing. You know what I mean? That kind of vibe. And it's crazy that those real authentic connections are being lost because people aren't even real with each other anymore. Everything goes through a filter, like a social media filter. Like it's almost like their brains have been completely hijacked. That even when they on a date, right? So you use a fake platform to get a date, but when, when you're on a date, you're not even authentic with those people. It's all bullshit. It's all fucking gaslighting. It's all fakeness, right? So, and then you wonder why people are lonely and people don't get the don't get real connections and why people feel isolated and why um, they get lost and distracted in technology that just make them feel worse. You know what I mean? Very important song. And I like the fact that they've created the song in a way that's very commercial because this kind of track on the radio waves, I don't know if many people would pay too much attention to the actual meaning of it without actually maybe going through the video and digging a little deeper but still a very cool boppy track to have on the radio waves. You guys let me know what you think down below. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.